They lived in peace, serenity, harmony, glitter in the trees. Bright colors, sparkle, happiness. A wonderful universe, nothing less. But suddenly they found they were not alone. The enemy's bad intentions became well known. However, the dark beings forgot one simple thing. Love can overcome anything. So when the darkness tried to take their world, the sparkle in their souls unraveled and swirled. It took more than darkness to make them fall. Through the darkest of darkness, their sparkly souls stood tall. And the enemies remained forever bitter. Because love is the key to a world full of glitter. Hi everyone, so let's just jump right into this tutorial for my Galactic Princess Glitter Revolution look. First, I'm applying the Honey Do Me Up Primer, which neutralizes the appearance of discoloration and redness and creates a luminous look and also gives you moisture, which is important when you have a long day of filming ahead. For this look, I am gluing down my brows. I don't want them to show in this tutorial, so I am taking a household glue stick. You can pretty much use anything. Just test it on your skin first to make sure you don't have a bad reaction. I dip my fingers in water just to smooth the glue out, and then I apply the SFX powder, loose powder on top. When my brows are glued down, I go in with a combination of two foundations, the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and the Total Control Drop foundation. These foundations have a really high amount of coverage, which is nice for a creative look because it leaves you with a completely blank slate. I am applying my foundation with the Complete Control Blending Sponge. I enjoyed this sponge because it has a really precise tip on one end, which allows you to get right in the crinkles of your nose and under your eyes. I'm making sure that I am covering my entire face, neck, chest, shoulders, eyebrows, everything. Next, I'm applying a good amount of the Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. I love this concealer so much. It's so high coverage, a little goes a long way. Next, I'm setting the cream products with the SFX Set Powder. Next, I'm sketching out my tribal pattern. For this purpose, I'm using the Fa White's Eye Brightener in Lavender Blush. I really enjoy these pencils. They are so creamy and easy to use. I find myself using these for everything when it comes to creative looks. I really wanted my look to have some purple elements to it, so I decided to make my tribal pattern purple. I am using the Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Lavender or Sway. I'm simply filling in my outlines using this lipstick and it is so pigmented. And sometimes to get in the nook of your jaw, you just have to let that double neck shine, girl. For the armor, I am starting with a liquid suede cream lipstick in Stone Fox. I'm just applying that evenly across. Then I am just building up the details with the SFX cream color in white and black. I am adding the white to the places that I want to highlight and black to the places I want to draw back. What's good about using cream face paints is that they are really easy to blend and to work with. This can be a tedious process, so just keep going until you're happy with the result.
For more details, I'm using the Epic Ink Liner, which is my favorite liner because it's so matte and pigmented. Next, I'm giving my face a little contour by using the Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette in Smokescreen. I am adding the glitter primer as a base on my eyelid. Then I am grabbing the silver shade in the Glitter Golds palette. And I'm applying the shade all over the space where I put the glitter primer down as a base. Next, I'm applying eyeshadow from the Smokescreen palette to my other eye. I kind of want to drag it up towards my temple to make it look a little bit galactic and otherworldly. Then I'm just sharpening my contour to make it look as alien-like as possible. I am cutting the crease using the Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. Next, I'm adding the glitter primer all over my brow bone. Then I am grabbing the purple shade from the Glitter Goals palette and applying it to pretty much all over my brow bone and towards my temple. Next, I'm just lining out my eye using the Vinyl Liquid Liner. I am setting down the glitter primer as a base for my chunky glitter. I'm applying the Worth the Hype mascara to my lashes. I'm adding some purple details to the armor and then I am applying a glitter body spray just to get an overall glittery effect. I am adding the face and body glitter in ice with green reflex to the tribal pattern. I am applying highlighter, I am using the I Love You So Mochi highlighting palette and then I'm also adding some more glitter just to the tops of my cheeks. Next I'm going in to create a shadow under the tribal pattern to make it look more 3D. I am also adding some white highlights to the tribal pattern using the white liquid liner. I am also adding some white details to my eyes, one line above and one line under. 
Next, I'm just popping on some lashes. And applying the liquid suede cream lipstick in lavender or suede on my lips. And there's always time for a selfie. For my bottom lashes, I'm applying the Wicked Individual Lashes. Then I am contouring my lips using a dark purple eyeshadow from the Vivid Brights palette and adding the same ice glitter. To finish my look off, I am just putting on this blonde, icy blonde wig. And that, you guys, completes this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my look.